Hi there, and thanks for joining us as we get a quick look at the four types of cellular receptors. Three of the four types of cellular receptors are on the cell surface. They're called transmembrane proteins, meaning that they span the whole distance of the phospholipid bilayer from the outside of the cell to the inside of the cell. So let's take a quick look at each one of those cellular receptors. The G protein receptors are membrane bound receptors. They're also called seven transmembrane receptors, and they're the largest and most diverse group of membrane receptors. Binding of the ligand or of a medication mimicking the ligand results in the generation of a second messenger which is involved in cellular signaling. Another membrane bound receptor is the enzyme linked receptor, also called tyrosine kinase receptors. The insulin receptor is an example of that type of receptor. Binding of the ligand or a drug mimicking the ligand, simplistically speaking, turns an inactive molecule in the cell into a molecule that starts signaling the cell to undergo a series of actions. The other receptor that is a membrane bound receptor is a ligand gated ion channel. And when the natural ligand binds to that receptor, the protein undergoes a conformational change again, but that change simply opens up an ion channel and that allows positively or negatively charged particles through the cell surface. Those are the three types of membrane bound receptors. The ligands that affect those receptors can access the receptor from the outside of the cell, meaning that the ligand or drug binding to the receptor can be water soluble or lipid soluble. However, the ligands for the intracellular receptor need to be lipid or fat soluble in order to get through the phospholipid bilayer. When those receptors bind to the ligand, the entire receptor ligand complex goes into the nucleus of the cell, binds to the DNA, and affects the transcription and translation of certain portions of the DNA. Those were the four types of cellular receptors, and we'll find out more about how our medications affect those cellular receptors in the next few lessons. Thanks for joining in, and we'll see you there.